Okay, I know I'm going to repeat this in the next couple of moments, but this is today's project. It is my 1988 C4 Corvette. I need to install an oxygen sensor on the passenger side exhaust as one doesn't exist and the wire is just hanging there. The, well actually I don't know if it was the previous person, but a previous person who really had no clue what they were doing put straight through exhaust on it, didn't do anything with the computer and consequently uh, it just, it throws up a check engine light basically. Oh, I hate that word, sorry. Um, so I'm going to try and fix it, hoping that the oxygen sensor is the thing that needs to be done. Once I have put the oxygen sensor in, then I have to figure out how to try and clear the code and see what it does from there. Uh, this, as you know, is a vehicle I'm going to be putting up for sale. At the moment, the paintwork looks like shit. But I believe I've found a guy that will actually spray it for a reasonable price and make it look nice and bring it back to its glory. I mean, it's uh, the typical Arizona rash, unfortunately. And a few blemishes here, there and everywhere. But, sorry about my shadow. Um, it, it's fucking fast, it really is. This is an amazingly fast car. So, let's get on with it. Here is today's challenge. It needs a oxygen sensor. Someone who uh, had this prior to me put a straight through exhaust system on and it was bloody ridiculously loud. So I put mufflers on, but I still got a check engine light. I've checked it and there is only one oxygen sensor. I believe there should be one on each exhaust system as it's a split system. So that is what I need to do. But, as mentioned in the title, this is to be done without any welding. Let me show you. What we have is this kit here. Hooker. Comes with two clamps, a uh, piece for the sensor to go on, and the seal that goes between this and the exhaust. You will also need a three-quarter step drill, or a drill that you can go up to three-quarters with. You will obviously need your oxygen sensor. And there you can see that's the part number. It's a single wire sensor. The wire is not particularly long, so uh, I'm going to have to uh, make sure that it reaches. And, of course, you get a nice set of instructions. Now, it does indicate that it should be at a 10 degree angle, no more. Well, it's not probably going to be that. And uh, let me take you underneath and show you. This is the sensor on this side. As you can see, it is at an angle, but it's in the collector. Now, the collector here is so much, uh, well, they're both the same size, but it's too big for that kit that I've got. So I've got to put it back here on the uh, exact, uh, in the exact, on the pipe. Now, oops, sorry about this, hang on. Oh, come on, light. Yeah, these pieces of shit when they suddenly decide to die. Uh, excuse me. Right, we're back. So I'm gonna drill through here. Um, I've got to get it right because of this weld, this, is, this crappy welding that's been done here. Um, and I'm not going to be able to get the angle to put it down at an angle. So I'm just going to have to do it as straight as I can and uh, hope that it works okay. If it doesn't, well, then maybe I'll have to think of something else. So that's the plan. And, uh, well, let's, uh, let's get on with it. Let's mark this up get the hole drilled. I've got to make sure I've got room for the clamps. So I may actually have to do a bit of grinding here. In fact, I'm pretty sure I will so that I can get the clamp on there nice and flat. Well, actually the clamp is not so much the problem as the actual um, seal that I want to get with that piece of metal. So let me get uh, started on this. I'll mark the hole, drill the hole, and then we'll be back. Well, I've done it now. I've drilled the hole in 
to the exhaust pipe here and cleaned it up. That is a three quarter hole, uh, which uh, this will fit into, but you need the special adapter. Now do be careful if you're using a step drill on a thinner, uh, sorry, a smaller diameter exhaust because you could go punching through the other side and that would not be good. So now you get your little brackets here and, and I hope you're going to see this. It's a little tricky under here, but uh, let's get these clamps on. Now, whilst I could put the clamps with the nuts at the top, that's going to make life a lot more fucking awkward. Um, so I'm taking the chance and putting them down this way. The choice is yours. And this fucking car is low to the ground anyway. Boy, is it low to the ground. Okay. Now, yes, okay, it slides over there, but that's, the, that's not the point. Now, we've got this here. Now, there is a lip on this, but I'm not worried about it because of the gasket. And then obviously you put the gasket in there, try and shape it a bit. And then let's try lining it up, get the strap over it, give it a strap on. Now you girls like a strap on. Now this is going to be the tricky, oh, no, I did it. I did it. And you grab your trusty, in this case it's an 11 millimeter. You thought it would have been 10, well I thought it would have been a 10, but it's not. Now just make sure you've got the pad position correctly. And you don't really want these in, in this position hanging down, that's not good. So I'm trying to, you know, do the best I can to keep it out of the way of shit. And you can squeeze these up, but they've got nylocks on them, so... Uh... Right, hang on a second. You might want to fast forward here, I'm just going to be doing these nuts up. And I'm not going to stop to press the camera, because I want to hold this in position. Oh no! It's that again! He said it again! He said the imposition! That's like my buddy at Church House Classics. Whenever he mentions a seal, e -e -er 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 -er. Oh, e -e -er. I can't remember the noise he makes now, but it's a seal noise. Personally, my car seals have never made a noise. Lots of other things, do now that one's come down a bit, so I'm going to have to take that back up because I'm not happy with that. And that's the thing, when of course when you do these up, they do spin around. Spin around every day, another song, a different way. Before I stop, I must begin. I can't go on. I'm feeling thin. That's not the line. Don't you dare sing that line, that's not it. Ah, but do you know the song? And if you know the song, who sung it? And what movie was it in? And the movie, I believe I'm correct in saying, is the same title name as the song, but for a bonus point. Oh, we all like a bone in our ass point. Who was the two main actors? One of them, the first name was Barry, and the other one, his name, uh, oh, hang on a second, oh, my brain's not working. Uh, I can see his face. I want to say it's David, but no, it's not. Oh, dear, he was the photographer in it. Ooh, come on, Gary, who was it? What was his name? Ah! Uh, Oh, or was it David? No. Was it David? Damn it, I know his last name. I'm not going to tell you that because that's too many clues. So you'll have to think about it, guys. And unfortunately, both of those actors are no longer with us. The one whose name is Barry was also in a TV series called Doctors in the House. Doctor in the House? Doctors in the House. And one of the lines from the movie, when he was uh, in a bed store, I think it was, and there were all these girls running around, 
and I, I will not do the line justice, but he said, oh, it's like a bloody Arabian night. That's what it is. <laughs> hey, it was the 60s. It was a fun time. Fun, fun, fun in the sun, sun, sun. Oh, and there's another bonus point for you. What line, sorry, what TV series is that from? Pum, 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 the sun, sun, sun. And there was a robot in it, and the robot's name was Crichton. And there was a character called Lister. And Kuchensky, Kuchensky. Wow, look at that. That's pretty good. This one's slightly longer. I think what it is, it's, this is caught on the edge of something there. Oh, 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 whoa, 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 Gary, whoa. You're, oh, no, you are. Oh, I thought I wasn't on the edge. I was. I was, I is. Now, the trick is going to be... <sighs> All right, let's get it in. Now, we remove the protective cap. You will know it's already got some anti-skis on it. The other end of this is not connected. So when I screw this in here, thusly, spinning and twisting the wire it doesn't cause a problem does it and i will have to get my special wrench for that i will be back don't go away oops turn the light all right i'm back now i have this special wrench which is designed specifically for oxygen sensors you don't need to go crazy on this you don't need to go crazy for you and who sung that? Oh gosh, I'm giving you so many questions. Crazy for you. Okay, that is done. Um, I did extend this wire. I didn't show you that. Um, I had to solder a piece in the middle because I couldn't put it here. I had to put it here. The wire was nowhere near long enough. Um, I hope that doesn't cause the computer a problem. If it does, oh well. Too fucking bad. So there we are, hopefully you're seeing that. And there you can see there's a joint. And I brought the wire around here so it didn't fall against the exhaust. And I can't see it. Hang on a second. Let me see if I can show you the route I took. Das route. See, up, oh, can you see it up there? Oh, you bugger. That's twice it's done that to me. Uh, come on. Under me, uh, sorry about that, traps. Sorry, traps. Pally Jerry's four o'clock cabbage crates. Oh, it's done it again. I've got to charge it. All right, you can see. Hopefully, you're getting enough of you to see that. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry, I'm not going to make you suffer that. <laughs> All right, so, so now what I got to do is uh, I'm going to go up top. Well, actually, I'm going to lower the car down and uh, then find the ends, join them together, and hope, I would say pray, but I don't do that shit, hope that then my check engine light goes out. There will be other challenges on this car. Um, I think I've mentioned before, I want to get it resprayed. And uh, in order to save me a few buckaroos, I'm going to take all the lights out, the badges off. I didn't realise, of course, but there are lights here that I've got to get out. There are the lights here. There are also lights on the back. Uh, I'm hoping they can just mask that up. If it comes off easy, I will take it off. That, I'm not sure. But, yep, lights up there, they've got to come off. The spoiler's got to come off. The aerial's got to come out. The real lights are going to come off. <sighs> then they can make it look purdy. Love these gills. It's like a shark. And I guess that's why they did it. Mm, a little bit of a filler required in there. Maybe I should fill it first before I uh, take it to the guy. Ah, shit, I'll let him do it. And then, unfortunately, I'm going to put it up for sale. Oh, well, never mind. Gotta do what you gotta do. All right, uh, let's go up top. Okay, way down there, you see that little green piece? 
between the V of these two wires. That's the rubber shield seal of the uh, oxygen sensor connector. Uh, here is the other end. And I've left it go around here to try and keep it away from the heat of everything. And now all i got to do is get these two boys to go together. Ooh, that sounds... Ugh. Okay, um, I can't film that because it's just going to be too fucking awkward. So let me get it done and I'll show you when it's done. Well, this is hard to see. And believe me, it's even more fucking hard to do. Sorry guys, I'm trying to get a light on this damn thing. It's not easy. Hopefully you can see that there. Sorry, I'm just fucking around with this. That's the connector there. It is an absolute pig to get to and do it because you have to do it one-handed and line the pin up. But I've done it. My next test will be to start the engine and see what the hell happens. Wish me luck. <laughs>